Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be doing an article from our friend Screen Rant. So today from Screen Rant, we're going to be talking about a Black Widow theory. So Yelena, the sister of Black Widow, has a mission is to recruit Kate Bishop and kill Hawkeye. Okay, so right from just reading that headline, it kind of feels like Yelena is getting uh, revenge. Kind of feels like Yelena's getting some revenge on the sacrifice of her sister, Black Widow. And she is under the impression that by killing Hawkeye, that she could get her own way. And, okay, so I'm just going to read this article because it's a little bit shocking. And also, I figured you guys probably want to know what this information was. So, on a side note, I'm going to finish reading this article. Okay. So, in Black Widow, Valentina sent Joanna to kill Clint Barton, but could all this be part of a wider plan to eliminate Hawkeye and recruit Kate Bishop instead? Well, again, conspiracy, conspiracy does happen. You know, karma comes back, you know, and hurts, hurts you and stuff. And, you know, like I said before in other videos that talked about karma, it always comes biting back always comes back and bites you in the ass. So, okay. So, Black Widow's post credit scene. Yelena is given a mission to kill Clint Barton. But it may be part of a wider scheme. Or, should I say, conspiracy. Like I said. To recruit the other Hawkeye, Kate Bishop. Played by Haley Seinfeld. You all know Haley Seinfeld from other shit. So, again... Yolanda's marching orders came from her new boss, Contessa Valentina Aguila de Fortaine, played by Julia Louis Dreyfus, who I talked about the other day. Check out that video. And who is in the process of assembling heroes for this new team. Whether Val's slowly grown supergroup will be known as the Thunderbolts or the Dark Avengers is yet to be known. But chances are, they'll need their own marksmen, and Kate Bishop could be their Hawkeye. But Quinn Barton may need the die for it to happen. Okay, so... Black Widow's main story is the set in the aftermath of 2016's Captain America Civil War. But its real impact on the future of the Mars and Mac universe was glimpsed in the film's post credit scene, when Yelena visited Natasha Romanoff's grave in Ohio. Valentina de, de Fortain rudely interrupted Belova, mourning her fallen sister, and pointed Jelena at her new target, Clint Barton. Val blamed Barton as the reason that Natasha was dead, and implied it was Hawkeye who killed Black Widow. It's not clear how much Jelena and the general public know about what happened between Clint and Natasha on Vormir, but that led to Romanov sacrificing herself, Voldemort Soulstone. From Avengers Endgame, but Contessa de Fortaine painted Barton as Natasha's killer to motivate Yelena to kill Hawkeye. Okay, related to this article is Black Widow, every Hawkeye reference and Easter egg. Okay, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about something else. So Val debuted in The Falcon Winter Soldier, which I said before in another video. Check out that video on the site but which may be set after the events of Black Widow's post credit scene in 2024. Regardless of by the conclusion of those two MCU Phase 4 projects, D14 has two superheroes in on her payroll, Yelena and U.S. agent John Walker. This essentially means that Valentina, who represents an unnamed secret organization, now has new versions of Black Widow and Captain America answering to her. Val isn't recruiting former Avengers, and she never approached the new Captain America. But again, Sam Wilson, or even Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, instead, D. Fortain is hiring the next generation of heroes 
who have similar capabilities and identities as the more well-known Avengers, which we call them the Dark Avengers. So there we go. As the big picture of the MCU Phase 4 starts to become clearer, Yelena's next appearance is set to be in Disney Plus Hawkeye series, which will continue the more ground-level saga Phase 4. While shows like Loki and films like the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness expand the MCU multiverse, but so far Valentina has not been bringing superpowered beings to her side. She is concentrating on more street-level heroes like Joanna Bolova and John Walker. To what ends D. Fortain is recruiting isn't clear, but there's ample reason to suspect that Yelena's mission and Hawkeye has more levels than just taking Clint Barn out. It's what happens to his protege, Kate Bishop, and what Valentina may have planned for the female Hawkeye that really bears watching. Okay, what Val has to gain by killing Hawkeye. Judging by her pick so far, Valentina's obviously recruited newer heroes on a reflection of the Avengers, but outright sending Yelena to kill Clint Barton is a curious move that bears examination. After all, D. Fortain didn't try to have Sam Wilson assassinated, even after he took the shield and mantle Captain America from John Walker. Yet the Contessa, who is the following the directives of the shady organization she works for, gave the order that Clint Barton has to die. So what does Val have to gain by eliminating the OG Hawkeye? For one thing, Barnes' death takes an original Avenger off the game board. It's telling that there's no attempt to recruit Clint instead. But Val must realize that Barnes can't be bought or corrupted. The OG Hawkeye is also damaged goods because of two factors. His bloody rampage as Ronin where he slaughtered criminals in his grief over his family, dying from Thanos, and the fact that Hawkeye may reveal that Clint is suffering from hearing loss and wears a hearing aid. However, Clint's activities as Ronin may be what sparked the kill order on Barn, because he may have executed people related to Valentina's employers, hence this revenge plot. Okay, so related to this article, MCU Fury Hawkeye will introduce Marvel's biggest criminal empire. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. So there's also poetic irony in Val sending New Lennon to take out Clint Barton, under the falsehood that Hawkeye is responsible for Natasha's death. But by the time Belova gets to Barton and Hawkeye, he and Kate Bishop will already be in cahoots. It will make more sense that Yelena's assassination mission is part of a two prolonged strategy to eliminate Kate's mentor so that she can be brought into Valentina's Dark Avengers type team. Kate Bishop's parents have criminal connections to Val. Okay, so MCU fans haven't met Kate Bishop yet. But the young Archer has an established history in Marvel Comics as a member of the Young Avengers. Clint Barton's partner as Hawkeye, as a private investigator in L.A., also known Los Angeles, and Kate even led a version of the West Coast Avengers. But part of that motivates Kate as a superhero is rebelling against her insidious parents who have criminal connections. Hawkeye will introduce Eleanor Bishop, Kate's mother, who appears to have a shady business deal. Okay. While Kate's father doesn't appear to be cast in Hawkeye, Derek Bishop is a wealthy and abusive man in Marvel Comics who is in league with the crooks and supervillains, including Kate's arch-nemesis, Madame Masquet. It may even be possible that Derek Bishop is part of a secret organization that employs Valentina. This could mean that eliminating Clint Barton, in order that could have come from Kate's father, meant to facilitate bringing his daughter into the fold. 
why the Dark Avengers would want Kate Bishop. This new Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, is a prodigy. She's the other best marksman in the world, besides Clint Barton. But Kate is also young, stubborn, idealistic, very sure of herself, and presumably can be manipulated, especially if she's separated from her mentor. In Marvel Comics, Clint and Kate have a bit of a love-hate relationship, where she's often exasperated with the older Hawkeye, which could be adapted into the Disney Plus series. Regardless of that, Kate Bishop is the future, and she's a big part of the next generation MCU heroes. So it makes sense that Valentina would want her in the Dark Avengers. Kate is also a Hawkeye, and she can be defined by that name in a way Clint Barton wasn't since Hawkeye was his S.H.I.E.L.D. codename. And Barton didn't play into that identity even in his public role as an Avenger. What's more, Kate Bishop is played by the sexy hot, attractive, beautiful as fuck, Haley Steinfeld, who is highly regarded, immensely talented Academy Award nominee. It's unlikely that Steinfeld was hired by Marvel Studios to only star in six episodes of Hawkeye on Disney+. Plus. It makes more sense that there's a bigger plan for Steinfeld in the MCU, and being pulled into the Dark Avengers whether or not Hawkeye signs onto the team like Joanna and John Walker did, would set up a greater role for Kate Bishop to Phase 4. Joanna Belova's Hawkeye mission could be more than just killing Kent, Clint Barton, and the real target could be his young protege all along. Kate Bishop could very well be useful and be the real prize Countess Valentina de Fortain is after him. There you go, guys. That is just a little bit of some shocking information about some revenge plot. Uh, if you guys like this content, please hit that thumbs up button. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye.